Hi, welcome to Video Tips for eLearning, produced by punklearning.com. My name is Mark Lassoff. Today, we're going to discuss one of the most important rules of shot composition in video, the rule of thirds. You've probably heard of this rule, but I've actually seen few e-learning developers putting it to good use. The rule of thirds basically works like this. When you break an image down into thirds, you end up with nine quadrants. When employing the rule of thirds, we divide the image both vertically and horizontally. Theoretically, if you place the points of interest, like the speaker's eyes, at points where the lines intersect, the learner will have a more natural impression of the image or video. It's more like what they would see in real life. The natural thing for most e-learning developers to do is to center everything. While this is natural and comfortable for most online learning developers, this is also very weak composition. For viewers, their eyes are actually naturally drawn to the intersection points of the rule of thirds grid, not the center. So it makes sense to have the focal points there. When we compose a video, we employ the rule of thirds regularly. Notice where the presenter is positioned. He's well off center, I would argue that placing him in the center would have resulted in an awkward shot. It's really not enough to simply aim your camera at a subject and begin shooting video. You have to put some thought into the points of interest in the shot and where you're placing them. Be intentional when you shoot your video and make choices about how the elements on screen are framed and where they're placed. I should also mention that sometimes the most interesting work comes from breaking the rules. But again, if you're going to break the rules, you have to do it with intention, and that means understanding the rules to begin with. I guarantee that employing the rule of thirds will immediately improve the level of engagement and quality in your online learning video. For punklearning.com, I'm Mark Lassoff.